Hey, look, we're back. And of course, we're here with Doom Eternal. I mean, is anyone surprised I've ever made a video about how Isabelle and Doom Guy would canonically be friends? Like, is it isn't really surprising anyone? No, not really. But yeah, this is Doom Eternal. I mean, I think everyone and their mother at this point knows about this game. There's so many high prolific things that have already happened with this game because of the whole coronavirus scale thing. People are buying this game because and playing it because there's nothing else to do right now because everyone's staying home. On a less depressing note, however, oh uh, yeah, Doom Eternal. Uh, I was supposed to get this game in a couple of days, actually, but then my job was like, hey, good job for working through corona or rogue through the coronavirus. Mind you, my I've literally all I've been doing is sitting at home checking emails every couple of hours to see if any of my students like email me for questions. So, I'm basically getting paid to do nothing. Not really sure how this is different than unemployment at this point, but whatever! It's fine! It's fine! Uh, give me one second to make sure the recording is going properly, however. So, be Okay, recording audio is just fine. So, let's go into this. Uh, before that, I do want to give a little quick uh, cap of the lore of the story so far. So... For people who did skip over the story in Doom 2016, which there is one, surprisingly enough, there is lore, but you're almost as you're almost incentivized to ignore it just as much as Doom guys ignore the story, with how he kind of pushes, literally pushes it aside as we see for the very first clip. Um, so in that game, uh, this might change things a little bit, but I believe right now this guy right here, Doom Slayer is the same Doom guy from Doom 1, 2, and 3. Or, Doom 1, 2, and Doom 64. Doom 1, he's sent to he's sent to Mars to be a security guard. Uh, hell breaks loose on one of the moons. He slaughters them all. Goes to hell, slaughters them. Gets asked to leave to hell. Turns out they're... And then he gets sent back to Earth. Turns out they already invaded Earth. So then he's kicking their asses again to allow the humans to venture out into the world so they are not being attacked by demons. And also to avenge his pet bunny Daisy. Doom 64, he continues kicking their asses after one demon survives and becomes the mother of all demons. He kicks her ass, and then he decides to more or less become a paragon of demonic slaughter and terror. Uh, for all eternity. And then, because of time bullshit, uh, he gets sent to the past, where the demon's curse started on a the distant planet, Argent Nur. He gets entrapped as he's, he becomes the Night Sentinel. He gets entrapped there after you know kicking their asses so thoroughly uh but he tr the demons trap him and then 20 doom 2016 happens where he wakes up he's still too angry to die murders everyone's shit and yeah then at the very end of the game after you kill the demon set forth by samuel hayden's apprentice olivia or whatever her name is samuel hayden takes the crucible and is like we can't we gotta keep using hell energy for the good of the earth and he doesn't kill you he just entraps you and here we are. Let's see how things go now. Uh, quick reflexes and combat exploration through the levels are key to success in Doom Eternal. Great reflexes, power attack, more Let's see, I'm too young to die. Hurt me plenty. Ultra violence, nightmare, ultra nightmare. And extra life mode. Huh. So it's like you have a set amount of lives. Old school. I think just for right now, I'm probably going to play this again later on my own time, but for right now, I'm going to do Stick with Hurt Me Plenty. FPSs are one of those games that I. I can feel as I'm getting older, I can't play them to a degree that's even reasonable anymore, so I'm just going to stick with Hurt Me Plenty. Hope you guys don't mind too much. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, if you watch Mac Muscles, you can see th the whole video about how they were gonna take Doom to like a more Call of Duty place back in like the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. So glad they didn't. Hell on Earth. Against all the evil that Hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Funnily enough, that tagline was in the comics and it was just a one off thing, and then it just kind of slowly became this epic meme that it is now. 
Is that actually how the asteroid belt is, where it's just like... First greater good hand, son of Hayden. So the only reason you don't like stop the Demon Scourge fully in 2016 is because Samuel Hayden, the guy who who's Demon's using paid. it in the first place, is like we need it to keep the energy Demon's supply in Earth going. Yeah, look look how that's uh, working out Everyone, for you. If you can hear me, if you're out there. Hello, Doom Guy. They actually get to hear Doom Guy talk in this game too. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. Oh, yeah. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. Canonically, Doom Guy is 100% human too. So he's literally just a man too angry to die. He's not even really a fan of battle over hip hop. -ish. Pop and uh, rap. Something about the South Park dude. It's just so goddamn cool. Alright, so we got twin stick shooter. Right trigger. Shoot. Help you. Jesus Christ. You are tanky little kids, aren't you? Alright. Ooh, we already started with our double jump. We'll mark it on your hunt. Hey, Vega! So Vega is the AI that was created through Hell Energy, which, but for some reason he turns out to be a good guy, and he helps us through our journey in the 2016. And because of that, Doom takes him along and saves him to a backup, and I guess that's the same Vega. Cool. Let's see, when you damage a demon enough, it becomes staggered and begins to flash. To glory kill, press right stick. Glory kills always spawn health drops. The less health you have, the more you get. There we go. <laughs> oh god, yes. The glory kill system. When this uh, when this game first reviewed back in like 2014, or maybe it was 2012, people were like, oh, the glory kills are too slow, so they massively spread them up. And now they're at a speed that it's just like they don't hurt game flow. Oh, I got the chainsaw this one, really? Yo, you see that? Zombies. Uses these resources for farm resources. Possesses the influence. Hmm. Doom Blade. Creature suit the mount the arm mounted Doom Blade is designed to increase the Slayer's short range striking capability. Strong enough to sever demonic flesh and bone. The blade's serrated edge allows the Slayer to break through enemy defenses and attack where unconventional weaponry is unaffected. Chainsaw. Oh wait, let me. I should probably read this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so hyped. Up. I'm I'm really really hyped about Doom. Um, the original the original Doom one, two, and sixty four were before my time. I was literally being born around the time those games were being started. So I didn't even play Doom for the first time until like 2010. And yeah, I enjoyed them. As the renowned weaponsmith of the Night Sentinels professed, it is the warrior that makes the weapon great. A bit an unconventional choice, the chainsaw has become a staple of the Doom Slayer's personal arsenal. For the kind of work that requires enemy to dismember it, the chainsaw is the right tool for the job. Despite the wealth of... Can I, like... Oh, there we go. Despite the wealth of armament of options for the modern combat specialist, this trusty workhorse remains a firm favorite among operatives. When matched against superheated plasmoids or a gauss-driven projectile, the ballistics impact of the combat shotgun holds its own. It's a plinth... Ah, uh, sorry. The simplicity of the design ensures the weapon is extremely quick and reliable, yet the vast array of ammunition types make it versatile and flexible. Quickly known as the crowd appeaser, a locked and loaded combat shotgun will pass by even the most right uh, riotous of assailants. Shotgun. Oh look, a little tutorial area. Nice. 
Press X to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. The chainsaw requires fuel. Gas scanner screws pick up to refuel the chainsaw. One fuel pip refuels slowly over time. So one thing about the chainsaw in the last game is that you almost felt didn't want to use it because chain because uh, fuel for it was so limited. But now it seems you get one for free. So uh, yeah. You can see it on the right there, it's kind of slowly refilling. Oh, I get one for free. Neat. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. I'll try not to move around the camera too much to make not make anybody sick. Some punchable objects. How do I do Oh, right stick is as well. Hey, secret found already. Nice. I wonder what other kind of secret. Oh! Ha! Ah, a little zombie! So instead of little Doom figurines, you get a little zombie figurines. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Did this man just punch a door across the room? What? Uh, double jump. Hmm. Yeah, this man just punch a door across an entire room. Did it blow me up? Oh. I'm already lost on the very first stage. Oh god, I'm crashed. This is this way. This weapon mod so it allows us to modify our weapons and improve them. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Decisions, decisions. Stickies or fully automatic. I don't feel like you need to make it fully automatic. I'll make it sticky. Thank you. Thank you, Vega. Jack your weapon out. Press and press the left hold. Press and hold the left trigger, and then press right trigger. So. Nice. Simple. Effective. Bang. One thing about Doom that I don't like is, it, is that when you start getting into the flow, you start really getting into combat, it tends to end like a little bit too early. Like you start really getting into it, and because you're kicking so much fucking ass, you can't, until like later stages of the game, you don't really get to feel the effect of how much of a badass you are. This is a good start though. I can't see why anyone says this game is... I cannot understand why anyone can see this game and think, Oh my god, it makes the kids want to praise the devil. No, no it doesn't. I have never once wanted to praise the devil. I did want to punch a demon out of it though. Like legitimately, no one plays these games and thinks, Yeah man, I need to praise Satan. If anything, Doom's like the most Catholic and the least game ever. Because think about it, all you're doing is around is killing demons and showcasing just how much these things go. Oh. I just want to keep more killing. I 
just want to keep Lord killing. I just want to keep the Lord killing. Oh, that's Chainsaw. Yeah, I'm How many more are you? Don't stop. I'm not complaining now. Mind you, I'm not complaining. I'm just asking how many more are you? But I was having fun. I don't want to find this chamber. Top mighty thralls, the hell priest oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. The thrall, slave titan of the underworld, carried the priest's temples into the wake of battle, providing the priest with vigil of hell's advance, strategically impervious in placement. From their temple perch, the priests would emit a powerful psionic influence, imposing greater coordination among the chaotic forces of hell, and increasing their battle effectiveness. The thrall, possessed super resilience, provided indestructible by uh, provide, proved indestructible by conventional weapons, thwarting all attempts by ARC defensive forces. Only by severing the priest's psychine, psychine, psychokinetic tether could the Titan be neutralized, an act that could only be accomplished by an infiltration of the temple itself. Oh, so that's why I'm here. Hey, open up. Why, hello there. My soul remains guarded. You can't. Let me just fix that for you, buddy. God, I love, I love these little character things with the Doom guy. This is, I think the Doom guy is probably the best showcase of speed. Or show, don't tell. Like, yeah, you could have Doom Guy speak all this exposition about how he feels, or you could do little actors like that. You know, that is. First hell priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. Older asses. Yeah. Not sure why I care about the Lord when he isn't. Let's see. Vega data entry. <laughs> like, oh, Australia's fine. At least, uh, nearly 60% of the planet has been consumed by the demons, with a rate of expansion increasing each day. The majority of the world's population died in the first month of the Hell Invasion, following a catastrophic failure of virtually every man made system. Military response was immediate, but only marginally effective as providing safe re uh, retreat to civilians, with many fortified fortifications cut off from outside communication. Facing ongoing opposition, these makeshift fortresses have gradually fallen to growing demon presence one after the other. Large portions of the Earth's surface have become inha uh, uninhabitable, with swarms of demons scouting the globe, most regions suffering from an atmosphere that has become effective and poisonous by a process of some alien terraformation. And then Australia is still over here, like, yeah, it's just, you know, too good. everything's trying to kill us anyway. That's why there's no demons here. <laughs> Australia saw this place. Demon saw Australia was like, nah, fam. Nah, we ain't about that life. God damn it. Sorry. Oh. I mean, that's immediate. I guess I'm getting both upgrades. Okay. Ah, to swap out the weapon mods. Nice. And as Doom, as the game goes on, you're gonna find like a hey, Kako Demon, Ballista. Oh, cool! They have certain kind of differences and weaknesses. Fire a sticky bomb or frag grenade into the mouth to trigger a stagger. Hey, you'll have ways of de defeating them differently. 
Hunters of Sloglands, the Cackle Demons lurk at the bottomless and murky depths of hell in search of easy prey. In Endless Wanderer, the Cackle Demon is most mostly devoid of cognitive ability, sensory awareness, and otherwise commonly occurring impulses. Driven only by a singular desire to feed, the Cackle Demon is likely to appear when there is flesh to be consumed, bringing it with an insatiable prosperity for hunger. It is said that the Cackle Demon bears some resemblance to a, a Cyclopean Titans of ancient hell lore. Uh, leading Sentinel scholars to believe that forgotten titans may yet live on in some disembodied form. So shoot rockets with their mouth. Be shown as the current objective. Press down. Oh, okay. Bang. Unnecessary. Move, bitch. Hey, turn around. Turn around, bright eye. Whee! Oh, you get a double jump after your double jump. See, Arachnotron. Certain demons have weak points to be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities. The weak points flash red for damage. The Akrasha demon is a heavy ranked demon. Third is the weak spot. Got it. Wait, wait, why are you come back? Come back. Oh, I need three fuel for that. See what I mean? Like, I like FPSs, but I can tell my reactions aren't what they used to be when it comes to games like this, man. I need that help. Woo! That's why in FPS games like Overwatch and stuff, I just tend to play characters that didn't really have to aim on their own. Oh damn! I was taking way too much damage. We yeah, had tend not to play characters that need to really aim on their own because I'm good at like the play-by-play, -play, but I don't have the twitch trigger reactions to play FPSs. I know if I ever play Fortnite, I get my ass kicked. Although I don't play Fortnite, I don't need to be like getting schooled by some like eight-year-old or some shit. Pardon me, excuse me. If you do not mind, I need this. This takes up so much ammo right now. Hey! Stop it! Rude. Goddamn, goddamn. Give that life. Hey, I need this. Feels good, man. Hey, stop it. Rude. I'm trying to survive over here, trying to kill me. It's only been a couple of minutes. I'm already having way too much fun in this game. Even though I'm not playing it as efficiently as I probably should be. What I mean, oh my god, that's three missed shots. Uh. Where are you? Merry Christmas. That was bad. That was worse. Can't wait until I see Senza playing this game. We're like, oh, watch me do Doom without taking any damage. Or Doom Eternal without taking any damage. Hey, I need those. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Also, it's really health. It's so silly every single time. It's just like, <laughs> Woo! I feel like people who say, like, 
I'm trying to blame video game violence on video games. I've never actually played a video game before. The heavy camp. What do you do, good sir? Common complaint amongst users of the uh, punchy, punch packing conventional weapon is the weight. As most of the component parts are forged in tungstronium, the proprietary alloy developed to withstand the enormous stresses imparted by the optional exploded dart ammunition. However, the additional weight makes the heavy cannon an ideal sniper rifle, as swaying and tremors are mitigated by the massive bulk. Trigger management is of the highest priority when using this weapon, as self inflicted gunshot wounds are common thanks to a no pull reflex trigger system. Too bad I'm doomed, guys, so I don't have to give a fuck about that kind of mindset. The heavy sucked up kind of weapon. What's this? Oh, the map station. It's finding it on remove all undiscovered areas in the map. You can view the map by one. Oh, cool. So it's just a way of seeing all the. Is this a way of like seeing secrets and stuff too? Can I zoom out? Yes, I can zoom out. Well, I missed a secret back there. Eh, it's fine. So that's where the less to. Should I go back for it? I kind of want to go back for it. Sure, why not? I have plenty of time. I might as well explore this place all the way through, right? Oh. Even get back the way I do. Friend, I have a friend who said, "Oh, now that I were grown and I have time, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read slash watch all of One Piece." I don't believe he will, but you know he's welcome to try. Okay, I can't get back up there. All right, that's fine. I won't stop. Him. And I, again, I have nothing against One Piece. I, I rather enjoy some of the some of the things I see pop up in my feed about it. But like, yeah. We're up, to, we're up to almost like 2,000 chapters or some nonsense like that, right? Or some ridiculousness when it comes to One Piece, so... Yeah! I think they're... Aren't they like hurrying like on Samurai Land where Zolo's having the time of his life? But it's like, yeah, Samurai Man. Oh, hi. Oh, go. Hey, armor. Warrior Force Glory. Hey, behind you. This doesn't seem fair. This seems really unbalanced. I'm not complaining though. Hey Am, I need some ammo. You know my character? Oh thanks man. So bad. Ah, fuck it. That can help. Yes, it does help. That's just enough. I pushed the wrong button. I did not mean to push that. Oh, hi. You're behind me. Hey, back up. Yo, give me that. I'll take that help. Thank you. I'll take this out too. I'll saw you in half. And now we're back into play the game. 
Uh. <laughs> God, I love, love the reload of getting the chainsaw. I feels really good being able to. It feels good to be not feel punished to want to use our gun this time, you know, or use our chainsaw. How freaking rare it was in the last game. Behold the fruits of our labor. Damn you, I see. See, there's a way to get up into there, isn't there? This way? Oh, here we go. Merry Christmas. Oh, you're still alive. Congratulations, man. Pretty tough, aren't you? That's just taunting me now. It's right in there. Keep sliding. Come on, come on, Doom Guy. Come on, Doom Guy. There we go. In it? I'll take these. The USC is the e is the corporation. I can just say evil corporation. It's a corporation. They're all evil. It's the corporation that was like, hey, look who's up. Me. It was the corporation that did the whole, hey, we're going to use demon power to get to places. No, I need a certain access key card, I guess. They get a lot less ammo this time around. I guess they're trying to like, really push it. Just out other special kills on you guys. Hey, Imp. I need to use more weapons when it comes to Doom, though. You find, with how Doom plays out, you tend to find one that really fully really conflicts for you, and then you kind of get, you don't get pigeonholed into using it, but you're like, but, but I really like using it. Slayer can attack to pitted walls by pressing right stick. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, that was a really good climbing animation. Ooh. Ah, yellow action. Oh, hi. Pardon me. Hope you don't mind. I don't even need this light. I just want to kill you. It feels so weird playing Doom after playing any other FPS because there's always this concept of I kind of want to press X to reload, you know? Maybe that's why they put it on the chainsaw button so that you're not heavily like punished for using it, you know? Think about it, like every other FPS out there, it's always like, oh, press X to reload, or press like right bumper to reload. This is the only one I can think of that, of an FPS that's like, hey, nah, there's no time to reload. You. There's only time for ripping and tearing. Fuck reloading. Get, get back to combat. What happened again? The cleansing of Earth is a necessary step on the path to a brighter tomorrow. Oh, Jesus Christ, you motherfucker. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. Thanks to the UAC Federal Merger Initiative, humanity can now reach its full potential. Yeah. Give me that. Yo, motherfuckers out here trying to jump scare me. Gonna pop out of the side of me, this motherfucking asshole. Yeah, Senza's not gonna have enough a fun time. Hundred during this and not taking any damage. Uh. Oh God, 
that's a sight to turn around and look at. Ooh. It's like that thing that we saw in the train station area in uh, Devil May Cry, but only a lot worse looking. Aw, I wanted to glory kill you. Got these. Hold left trigger for a high position, high powered rounds. I mean, yeah. Y yeah. Thank you. Like, come on now. Frag grenade. Yo, they just made it a mounted cannon? They don't throw it anymore? Walter, combo with other weapons. And it gradually explodes over time. Yo, yo, it's literally just a frag grenade or like the, the laser cannon thing from a uh, predator. Yo. Shoot into mouth. Got it. What? 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 Oh. Uh. I, there we go. Yo, this man, I just ripped this man's eye out and just threw it there. Can I, like, yes, I can. Hey, hey, I was looking at my weapon, too, sir. Don't be rude. I'm trying to figure out how to play this game and make it even slightly appealing. I'm going to need you not to bully me, if you don't mind. Oh, oh. Well, here, let me just uh, clean that up real fast. Well, I almost, you almost go bad for the demons in this game at one point. Almost. Oh, hi, Ian. Oh, I missed. It's that time. Hey, hey, get back here. Why you running? Why you running? Boop. Boop. I think I'm just. I think this is endless. I think it's just here to like get off your murder fancy a little bit, and I'm okay with that. Where is it? Oh no, this is a battle ring. I'm supposed to keep going. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, baby. I need that life. How long does the freaking grenade take to go, bro? I don't think Imps and the possessed soldiers are fighting against each other. That's a little weird concept. There we go. Can I, can, I, can, I kill, can I kill you right now? Let me kill you. Giving you the ability to like teleport with my, or damn near teleport with my, uh, what's it called later on? Or late in the game in the original, or the original the movie, UAC 2016. I'd like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. Oh, fuck off. But yeah, we're your. Yo. What was 
I talking about? I'm sorry, I was getting too way too in the moment. Lost my train of thought. of the arc following the total collapse of international civilization nations and boundaries we as we knew uh, know them have ceased to exist a handful of remaining bureaucrats government officials and military leaders have managed to survive by use of protective bunkers kept secret to the greater population of course conveying under the flag of the allied nations this government body represents all the remains of the rule of law growing would essentially become a single world government Military bases in communication with the AN have made efforts to regroup and centralize their areas of command, establishing fortified safe havens for survivors, stockpiling food and scavenging for supplies. Only proprietary military use communications remain functional, enabling military entities under command of the Allied Nations to coordinate in humanitarian aid and defense operations. By 2151, the formation of the ARC has taken highest priority and considered to be, in all practical terms, the last hope for humanity. I mean, like, once again, Australia's just over there, chillin', so... Ow! You rude bastard! Not every tentacle has one inside. Or tentacle has one inside. The subject of great scrutiny for arc scientists on Earth, these hell growth formations have appeared all over the planet, taking hold of whatever hell has made its presence known. Forming chaotic, seemingly random structural patterns, the propagation of hell growth has taken root at an alarming rate, exhibiting a cellular reproduction rate that arc scientists may uh, fear may become impossible to contain. The resultant environmental effect is extremely hostile to terrest uh, terrestrial life, producing atmospheric bi bio contagions and multitude of organic hazards. Whenever these nest-like formations emerge, they are protected by swaths of defensive tendrils, long thorn tentacles that demonstrate keen awareness of their surroundings, fully capable of dispelling anything that is deemed a potential threat to the nest. Oh, okay. Oh, hi! Yo, I was looking at something else. Do you mind, rude bastard? Stop it. That one didn't have one? Nice try, asshole. Fuck off. Oh. Can we go back here? Let's see. Oh, there's a secret back there. Where are you? Directly above me? Oh. So there's a pathway over there? Infinite lives. Cheat codes allow you to replay missions through select mission select with special modifiers, infinite ammo, all runes. Play with cheat codes does not disable progression. Replay missions to find missing items, win additional combat encounters, or experiment with locked weapons or upgrades. Neat. That's some old school stuff right there. Gotta miss cheat codes. Miss cheat codes so much. But publishers don't like adding cheat codes anymore now that they realize they can capitalize on making people pay for it. Hey, stop it. Rude. Mm. Over here trying to just be a good little demon slayer and you're getting in my way. We're in a combat arena, I think. Yep, I want it. Well, time to rip your tear. My friend told me there's one secret in our base like area that I'm really gonna have fun with later. Yeah, you get to live for a second. <laughs> what? 
what? Did you hear that little pop? Oh, that's great! I probably should use other weapons. But I'm having way too much fun with that shotgun. That was unnecessary. Hey, open up. I almost feel bad doing that. Again. Almost. Hey, move. Oh, whoops. There you are. Looking for you. Can I double jump after this? I can. So you can double jump after getting a glory kill in the air. Just mobile enough to be difficult for me. How am I getting? How am I getting ammo for this? Where am I getting the fuel from? Is this like shit fueled by like the demons? Where chainsaw is fueled by demons now, or demon blood? I'm okay with that. That's so environmentally friendly. Lives immediately revive you from running out of health. Hmm. Oh, come on. Just be my own. This automat thing does make it nice and fun. Hello there. Nah, I'm not a fan of this mod. Like my rockets. Bad person. It's kind of taking off the more far. And did you just load in out of the aether? Oh, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. I need to go play the game now. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what? My my thing actually has range. I can't teleport and hit them from across the screen. No, that's not fair. Says the person who's literally able to rip and tear them in threads like this. I'm talking about fairness. Really, I'm just the asshole. Ow. I might get a room that says I get armor up. My old uh, card the shop user or card shop user. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. My old uh, card shop owner sadly can't play games like this because the it's gathering just, of hell he's older than I am. Located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. And I told him like how good Doom 2016 was. It gave Doom the 2016 try. It's just like I just can't do it. My body can't handle all this rapid movement and the Z axis. It's, it's awesome, he said, but he just his body couldn't handle it because he was just 
Hey, that's just how it goes, man. Fast travel blocks on the map. Use this to find additional items and unlock the honor. Oh, cool. Neat. We got a portal here. We also got some lore. What's this? Hell priest. Proper practitioners of arcane magic. The priests have warped their power to suit their insidious purposes. Purpose. Harnessing the dark forces of hellish psychomancy to prepare Earth for the final blood ritual. By blood were the hell priests bound to the dark ritual, which now consumed Earth. And so long as even one of them lives, the consumption of Earth would continue, allowing hell unfettered rule of the mortal world. Only by destroying the priests can the blood ritual be stopped and the Earth saved. Kill these motherfuckers. Understand. Else in this place? Doesn't seem like it. Who's chanting? Anyway, this seems like a trap. That was. Maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Hey guys, I'm gonna kill you. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate. It is. <laughs> Stops nothing! The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non believers, you will not save them from their judgment. Probably not. That can make sure make you guys suffer. Cowards. You cannot interfere. Fight me. This is humanity's chance to repent. To give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Why not? Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. Yo, Lord. Miss three things. Chico's custom wheel. So I think what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna get lore of him being part of this Night Sentinel. We're gonna get more lore of it, which will be pretty badass. Fortress of Doom. To locate the second Hell Priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Ooh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Dark run button. Press Y to set enemies on fire. They will drop armor shards. Ooh, so that's how you get armor shards. Maximize a shard drop. Also, oh, it's just a quick little burst. Okay. So just a way to get armor back. So that's how I get armor back. Contain a sentinel crystal. This is the Sentinel Crystal selection screen. Use a Sentinel Crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacity. Okay. You can select an upgrade to increase your health, armor. Okay. Unlocking two linked upgrades can also give you a bonus upgrade. Consider the bonus upgrades when selecting Sentinel Crystals. 
Highlight the upgrade you want, then confirm the selection. Hmm. That sounds nice, actually. Get pulled in from farther away. Flame belts takes less time to cool down. Max health or max armor? I do want more health, so we'll go with this. Upgrade. I guess I'm gonna go some Oh! Fight a minute. Search your buyer for more sentinel crystals. The will do. Is activated and ready when you are. We got flame belch. We got chainsaw. We got grenade. And the, how this game's feeling is starting to really come together now. Sweet. Now there's one thing I want to check. Let's see. Portal confirmed. Can I like this is an arc broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined hellified zone near the San Andreas chasm. Satellite imagery show what arc personnel believe to be the legendary Doomslayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doomslayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the resistance, a sort of avenging to be seen on Mars, and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. I mean, you can deny it all we you want. I'm going to keep kicking your fucking asses and showcase that I'm real. It. Is there a way to, like... God, wrong button. Cult is base. Word for... Oh. Hmm. Meh. Hell on Earth. I can do that again later. Darn it. Is there like a way to... Maybe later I'll get the option too. Either way, I think for right now that is... Wait, is there more? This is an arc no. broadcast. Alright, I think for right there now that's a pretty good place to stop. So that's the first level of Doom Eternal. It feels just as good as the other Doom 2016. Uh, so far no real complaints. I do hope we get... If I can find a secret that I'm thinking about for later maybe. For right now... Yeah, these places stop. Uh, can I just exit the menu? Yes. God, this game is so good. And I'm sorry I'm not playing it to a tier that I'm happy with fully, but eh, it's fine. Either way, for everyone out there watching, thank you. I want you to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.